How is it related to anatomical sexual differences? How is gender constituted and sustained in one person's lifetime? And as a social experience across time. How does gender relate to other sorts of social relations? Such as class or race. Does gender have one history or many? What causes gender to change over time? What are the relations between gender, sexuality, and a sense of individual identity? What are the relations between heterosexuality, homosexuality, and gender? Are there only two genders? What are the relations between forms of male dominance and gender? Could or would gender wither away in an egalitarian society? Is there anything distinctly male or female in modes of thought and social relations? Are these distinctions innate and or socially constituted? Are gender distinctions socially useful and or necessary? What are the important determinants of difference among men and among women? As well as between men and women. Deconstructive readers, Deconstructive readers are, disrespectful are disrespectful of authority. Attentive to suppress tension, to suppress or, tension the text. or conflicts within the text. Of all essentialist oppositions and suspicious and of all essentialist oppositions and representational claims. They are willing to play, they are with, willing the text, to play with the text, to disrupt its, to disrupt apparent, its unity, apparent unity, and to, to rescue, rescue its, its heterogeneous, heterogeneous and disorderly, and disorderly aspects, aspects, and its plurality, and its plurality of, meanings and of meanings and voices. They do not, they do think, not of think of themselves as authorities, as authorities or discoverers of truth. Or as discoverers of truth. But as potentially, but as interesting, potentially members interesting members of an ongoing conversation. Of an ongoing conversation. In a in deconstructive, deconstructive reading, reading, one looks for what, what has been suppressed, suppressed in the text. within the text, like, like repressed, repressed material, material in the unconscious. In the unconscious, the suppressed within the story does not lose. The suppressed power. within the story does not lose its power. It affects, it affects the, character the character of the, of whole. the whole. People appear feminine when they keep their arms closer to their bodies. Their legs closer together. And their torso and heads less vertical than do masculine looking individuals. People look feminine when they point their toes inwards and use their hands in small or childlike gestures. People who make frequent appeasement gestures, such as smiling, also give the appearance of femininity. <laughs> Typical masculine body postures tend to be expansive and aggressive. People who hold their arms and hands in positions away from their bodies and who stand, sit, or lie with their legs apart, thus maximizing the amount of space that they physically occupy, appear most physically masculine. Movements that are abrupt and stiff, communicating force or threat, rather than flexibility and cooperation, convey masculinity, as do stern or serious facial expressions that suggest minimal receptivity to the influences of others.
We are here to act here we are. on the socio-political, historical are. stage here we are. to make spectacles, spectacles, of spectacles of ourselves. Making spectacles of themselves. Scopophilia. Scopophilia. Can, Can you see, see us? us? At the margin. Can, Can you hear us? Can you hear us? At the periphery. Do you, Do you want, want to acknowledge, acknowledge our, our presence? presence? We are far from the center. Who is this really? My image has spoken to you before I've even opened my mouth. Which myth will you choose to accept? Or will you simply judge visually and then obliterate me? from your existence. If you are scared or uneasy, do not ignore the feeling. Forget your inhibitions. Act straight away. And I said, OK. Who is this really? Ideological construct. Are we not many images? Ideological misrepresentation. People judge visually. By a system of images. People see what they want to see. Intellectual fragmentation. We are either invisible. to falsify our realities, our voices, in order to be seen and to be heard, yet we hold many positions. We change and grow. Do it. And contradict ourselves. In the process of learning and changing and growing. Is there room for us? Is there enough room for all of us? Or is there more freedom? in the margins of society, away from the center, a space off, a voice off, far from dominant culture, as we refuse the imposed role of other in the ambivalence. At once inside and outside. As we struggle within culture. As we struggle to demystify image. Identity. Gender.
as we acknowledge difference between and within identities. And admit to a known fixity of identity. As we work through desire. Towards, towards inclusion. inclusion.